Phoenix was just a two-month-old puppy when our Humane Investigations team brought her to the Cleveland APL. This gentle little dog had suffered unimaginable pain. She had burns on close to 60% of her body that we suspect were caused by being placed into scalding water. It was touch and go for Phoenix for a while. Our shelter veterinarian was not sure if Phoenix was going to pull through this horrific experience. But the spunky sweet pup had a will to live. If she was willing to fight, we were going to fight for her. And fight we did. When she arrived at the APL, Phoenix was given immediate medical care. She was put on antibiotics and pain medication and received IV fluids. At the beginning of her treatment, her foster mom brought Phoenix to the APL every day for therapeutic laser treatments and bandage changes. Because the burns were so severe and painful, she was sedated for these procedures. When she was at home with her foster family, Phoenix had ointment applied to her burns several times a day. They typically went through an entire tube of ointment every day. She was on daily pain medication and had to wear the dreaded cone of shame to keep her from licking and nibbling at her healing skin. Once her tiny body began to heal, she no longer required sedation during her treatments in the APL's clinic. Soon, only her back legs and tail had to be bandaged, and her bandage changes were reduced to three times a week. Hey! We were overjoyed when hints of white fur started to grow around where her paws had been burned. Phoenix! Through all of this, lovable, brave Phoenix enjoyed spending hours cuddling with her foster mom and anyone else she met. Brimick! <gasps> Good girl! Okay. She even started to play when she began to feel like a normal puppy again. Good girl. Go get it. Soon, it was time for Phoenix to get the happy ending she so deserved. Her foster mom's cousin, Alina, had been following Phoenix's story on Facebook and fell in love. Alina and her partner, Nady, were looking for a sibling for their dog, Arrow. As soon as Phoenix was cleared for adoption, they drove to the APL with Arrow from their home in Virginia. It was love at first sight, and they adopted Phoenix that day. The first time we met Phoenix was the day before Easter, and that was actually the day that we adopted her. And at first she was timid, and she didn't really care about us too much. And then we went and got Arrow, and Arrow could not keep her eyes off of her. So after that, we took both dogs and we walked them around the block, and they did great. Phoenix has adapted to our home very well and very quickly. It only took her about a week to get used to us and get used to her schedule and get used to Arrow and, and to really play with Arrow. During dinner time or breakfast or lunch, they both go their separate ways, eat their food, um, and then Phoenix always needs to make sure that Arrow ate all of her food. So she always runs over to her bowl and checks to make sure that she got everything, but she licks it a couple times just in case Arrow left something. Phoenix does not know personal space at all whatsoever. Um, so whenever we sit on the couch or lay down or just kneel, she is right there on top of you. She always wants to love and cuddle with you. Phoenix is the epitome of a little sister. Phoenix uh, jumps on Arrow, bites her ears, and just really bothers her whenever she wants to play or whenever she wants attention. They just get along so well and they love each other. And if there's something new that is outside or we come across or anything like that, that Phoenix has never seen before, um, she really looks to Arrow to see how Arrow responds to it. If Arrow shows that it's okay, then Phoenix goes right up to the person or the thing or whatever it is um, because she knows that it's okay as well. Phoenix means the world to us. She has really shown us trust and patience 
and resiliency when you go through something difficult like that, that you can come out of it. You can move on from it, even though there may be some scars. She's everything that we didn't know we needed in this family. She's the missing piece and it's just perfect. I think we were on our way to the vet, I believe, um, when we realized that Phoenix had a hidden talent. It's kind of like a mini Chewbacca kind of noise. It's just, it's interesting, but it's so cute and it's just her trying to get your attention. It's adorable. My favorite story of Phoenix would be the first time we went to walk on a trail with her and Arrow. We came upon a fairly large creek and when we walked up to it, we were like, oh no, this is water. And we know her experience with water. And so I walked through the stream with Arrow. And while we were doing that, she was sitting on the side crying and whining because Arrow was going too slow. So as soon as we got across it, I turned around and took a video of her. And she just ran through that and just loved it. And it was great to see that just through that trail, she had overcome a lot of obstacles already. It has meant the world for Phoenix to have been given a second chance. She wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that program, guaranteed. So we just appreciate that you have the second chance program and we appreciate people that donate into this program because it makes such a big difference. We want to say thank you to everyone at the APL and we appreciate all of you that have donated, that will donate in the future, um, because you've all had an impact on Phoenix and her life moving forward. So thank you.